Jacksonville, Florida, Governor Ron DeSantis signed a new version of a bill that would make it illegal for kids younger than 14 to have social media accounts. This is one of the strictest social media bans for kids in the country, an earlier version of the bill that would have banned students under 16 from using social media without their parents' permission was blocked by DeSantis. Legislators collaborated with DeSantis to develop a platform for his endorsement of a bill that presently centers on minors below the age of 14 while retaining parental involvement. Part of the bill prohibits children under 14 from opening accounts. However, accounts for 14 and 15-year-olds may be granted with parental consent. It is widely anticipated that the tech industry, which would be responsible for verifying the ages of their consumers, will file legal challenges to the bill. What age is too young? As per the recently enacted legislation, the correct response is 14. At a news conference held at Cornerstone Classical Academy on St. John's Bluff Road in Jacksonville, DeSantis endorsed the previously mentioned legislation. When you look at young kids, you can see the dangers that exist. We are sadly confronted with predators. People used to say, well, if they're out somewhere and aren't being watched, a predator could attack. With things like social media, you can have a child in the house who appears to be safe, and then predators can get right in. DeSantis stated, you may be performing flawlessly, but they know how to manipulate these various platforms. The news conference was also attended by Education Commissioner Manny Diaz Jr., Attorney General Ashley Moody, and House Speaker Paul Renner, who advocated for the legislation. Renner, Representative, Palm Coast, has made social media regulation one of the most prominent issues of this year's legislative session. He argues that the use of social media impairs the mental health of children and can facilitate communication between sexual predators and minors. If implemented successfully, this is something that I believe will save future generations as well as the current generation, Renner said, following the bill's passage. Social media legislators in Florida have identified autoplay videos and social media notifications as addictive features that pose a risk to the mental health of children. Would it be accurate to say that a corporation intends to exploit children for financial gain through means of addiction? That sounds suspicious to me, like human trafficking, Renner stated. Social media companies would be obligated to prohibit the presence of accounts belonging to individuals below the age of 14 on platforms such as Instagram and TikTok. As per House Bill 3, children older than 14 would require parental consent. According to its supporters, the bill will literally save the lives of children. Republican Representative Tyler Sirowa of Merritt Island, who assisted in the bill's sponsorship, remarked, God help us if social media is the new town square. For our children, social media is no town square, he stated. It is a dark alley. The tech industry and free speech organizations have already indicated that the bill will face a First Amendment challenge. Moody declared her readiness to confront them in court. The measure does not specify which social media platforms would be affected. However, it includes a definition of such platforms, including elements such as algorithms, addictive features, and the ability for users to watch the content or actions of others. Supporters seek to enforce compliance by making social media platforms subject to lawsuits for violations of the age limitations. This would include litigation brought by the state attorney general and on behalf of minors. Security expert Chris Hamer, on the other hand, said that making tech companies follow the rules would be a very serious burden that most of them are either incapable or unwilling to take on. The problem is that, technologically speaking, you can use a VPN to change your location, you can lie on your birthday, and there's nothing they can do except have a third party verify your identification, which means you're now storing people's personal information on a completely different platform that may or may not be secure. We are merely generating additional complications, Hamer said, instead of social media businesses shouldering the responsibility of banning underage accounts they may operate similarly to sports betting applications. They might prohibit everyone in Florida from using social media platforms. Rather than attempting to determine who is over 13, who is over 16, and who does not have parental permission, Hamer stated that if the bill is passed, it may be enforced based on the honor system. The measure would also require age verification in order to prohibit kids under the age of 18 from accessing online pornographic websites. The law will now take effect on January 1st.
If you like this video, follow us and subscribe.